How many stunners have I given? Oh man. I don't know, a couple thousand. I, I don't know, I, I really don't know because I, I, I should have documented them. Stunner! The stunner can come out of nowhere. Oh my God, what a stunner! He's the rattlesnake, so he'll stun anybody, no matter who it is. When the crowd sees that, it's like boom, instant orgasm. This arena has erupted! He made an audience explode. Man, it's always fun to stun people because it comes out of the blue. It's explosive. The beauty of that finishing move, you always want your finishing move that you can do to anybody of any weight, height, this, that, or whatever. Anybody can take it. Michael Hayes gave me the finish. He wanted something fresh. And he asked me, you know any new finishing moves or something? I go, well, funny you ask. I was using the Million Dollar Dream, and I needed to get away from that. And it was a great idea. Wait a minute, look at that! I was trying to come up with a new finishing maneuver that would be easy to do on anybody, but could be very effective. And I came up with the kick him in the gut, grab him here, sit on your ass, run your shoulder up in their larynx, and so I will bet all to Michael Hayes. Oh, I definitely hold the championship for the most stunners ever taken by one individual. Hands down. I, I definitely have the record. An easy thousand. Easy. Awesome. Oh. He's taken so many of them. After the show is over and you're not live anymore, you get a chance to still have 15 or 20,000 people there that you can say, okay, that was pretty good. We make sure you remember this so you come back next time. Bam, hit me with it. And then when I would hit, I would spray like a whale. From an excitement level, I love stunning Shane because the way he did it. You know, he poured beer on me. He just soaked me. I mean, he'd pour like four, I'm not joking, 14 beers on me. My suit, everything, I'd just be drenched. Steve ruined so many clothes. That time period was so fun. It became this, you know, when the show would go off the air, like who's gonna take the goofier bump off the stunner? And it almost became this contest of who could take him crazier and what you could do different. That was just all us just messing around and having fun and just making ourselves laugh off the air. Steve might be the only guy in WWE history where everybody wanted to take his finish so they could see who could do the best reaction to being stunned. The Mac Daddy would be rock because we headlined three WrestleManias together, and he would go to the nth degree to make one look more devastating and different than the other. Oh, got the stunner! You know, I would say, and I said, that was ridiculous, but the crowd ate it up. Rock, he was the OG and the king of the stunners. I have not taken as many stunners as many have, and each one of them was an honor. You're part of a move that's receiving a reaction that you never thought possible. It's an adrenaline rush. It's adrenaline spike, it's crazy. And you get that response, it's like, that's one of my favorite things to hear.